Good morning and welcome to Kids Rock for November the 1st. I can hardly believe it's November already, but here we are. And welcome to our worship space here at church this morning. Let's light our Christ candle as we begin. Now I'll say, the Lord be with you, and you reply, and also with you. Are you ready? The Lord be with you, and also with you. Thank you. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for this time that we can pause and worship you this morning. We ask you to bless our time, give us ears to hear, and hearts that are open to you today. In Jesus' name, amen. So today we're going to see how God's power makes us strong. So I thought it would be really fun to begin with our song, The Power Shuffle, which is a good reminder to us of God's power in our lives. Are you ready? Let's sing. I like to hide 
beside the coats at our back door. And the way the door is and the way the coats are, I can actually stand kind of behind the coats, right beside the coat rack, and they can't see me standing there unless they look for my feet underneath the coats. So I like to hide there. It's one of my favorite places. You know, we usually hide for fun. Like when we're playing hide and seek. But in our Bible story today, there's a guy named Gideon who was not playing for fun, hide and seek. He was hiding. We're going to find out why he was hiding and how he learned that it's God's power that makes us strong. Gideon's story comes from the book of Judges in our Bible, and it's a true story about this man named Gideon, and it covers two chapters, Judges chapter 6 and chapter 6. I'm going to actually read you the story this morning out of our Friends with God Bible story book, and it is written as if Gideon himself is telling the story. So let's take a listen. The Midianites were awful, cruel, terrible people. They wrecked all our crops, they stole our animals, and they left us nothing to eat. Someone had to do something. Imagine how surprised I was when that someone turned out to be me. Especially because I was hiding in a wine press, threshing wheat so the Midianites wouldn't find it or me. I know, I was a whip. But it was right then and there that God spoke to me. You are going to destroy the Midianites, God told me. Me? I said, you've got to be kidding. My clan is the weakest in all the tribes. I'm the last guy anybody would ask to do something like that. But God insisted. I asked God three times to prove that that was what he really wanted. Of course, three times, God gave me a sign. No doubt about it. God wanted me for the job. Probably because God wanted to be sure Everyone knew it was only by his power, not mine, that the Midianites would be destroyed. Their army was so gigantic that there were too many soldiers to count. So I needed to form the biggest army I could muster. But God had other plans. I started by gathering 32,000 men. God said, that was too many. If we won, we could say it was because of our strength, not God's. So I said, no, everybody that was afraid to fight. That left me with 10,000 soldiers. But that was still far too many for God. After one more test, only 300 men were left. 300 versus too many to count. I sure hoped God knew what he was doing. We waited until it was dark. I gave each man a ram's horn and a torch inside a clay jar. We scattered around the hill, surrounding the massive army below. Then, at the same time, we blew our horns, we cracked open our torches and shouted, for the Lord and for Gideon. The Midianites panicked. God made them so confused, they started fighting each other. We beat them without even raising a single sword. And here you can see the Midianite army looking very confused and starting to fight against each other. And then here's a picture of some of Gideon's army with their torches and their ram's horns. Gideon realized there was no way he and his little army of 300 men with their horns and their torches could win against that huge, countless army of warriors. But he knew that God was in control and that it was God whose power made them strong and helped them win the battle that day. Now I know that there are things we face right now that seem like huge challenges, like that huge army. 
And there is no way that we can overcome them. But when we, like Gideon, put our trust in God, he will help us. There's a verse in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, that says this, I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Let's keep our eyes focused on God and put our trust in Him. Now, I've got a fun game challenge you could do with your family. Today we've been exploring how God's power makes us strong. So, come up with some exercises that you can do to build your physical strength and then talk about how God makes you strong on the inside. Everybody take turns making suggestions and leading some simple exercises you could do. For example, do 10 toe touches. Do 10 jumping jacks. Do 10 squats. You get the idea. After you've done a bunch of these, talk together about these two questions. Number one, how does exercising build physical strength? And two, what can help you build strength on the inside? How does exercising build physical strength? And what can help you build strength on the inside? Remember, Gideon didn't start out very strong on the inside. Remember, he said, I'm a wimp, I'm a nobody, I'm the least, I'm hiding out because I don't want to get caught. And God said, you're the one. And through God's power, Gideon became strong. God wanted to make sure that everybody knew it was God's power not human power that won that battle. So he had Gideon take that really small army. Even when we feel weak and small like Gideon did, we can trust that God's power will make us strong. Let's pray. Dear God, we know we can't always be strong on our own, but thank you that you, with your power, we can be mighty heroes like Gideon. Help us this week to look to you for the strength we need to face the challenges that are in front of us. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's our story of Gideon. Well, time for the thankful journal, the place where we record things that we're thankful for. Now this week, here's what I'd like you to do. Think about a time when you were afraid to do something then you trusted God and he helped you to do that thing, to face that challenge. Draw a picture of that. Or just make a little poster with the words, I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. And thank God that it is he, God, who gives us the strength to face our challenges. And that's what I did. I did the little poster. I put, I wrote the phrase, I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. And I said, thank you, God, that he is the one that gives me the strength. And then, of course, today's date, so that you remember our story. It will help you remember our story of today. But God helped Gideon face those huge challenges in God's strength. All right. Today's picture and word search. We have the picture of God helping Gideon defeat the Midianites. We see the their torches and their horns there, and then there is a word search as well for those of you that like doing that. Get your parents to print those off for you later, and you can enjoy those activities sometime this afternoon or later on this week. Well, it was wonderful to have you join me again this morning. Remember this week to be thankful that God is always with you and that he will give you the power to face the challenges in front of you. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance towards you and grant you his peace today. Amen. Well, have a wonderful week. See you next time, either here online again or maybe even here face to face when we gather on Sunday morning with our little group in our hula hoops, six feet apart. Have a great week. Bye.